You're with Rachel. She's the uh, the host of DreamHack. For what games? Uh, Street Fighter and the League of Legends DreamHack Championship. Okay. And uh, how are you liking Sweden? I love it. This is uh, my third dream hack. The first time I came here, Trevor and I, uh, we came by train and we slept on the floor and we were in the BYOC, so it's really different now being in the pro play lounge. <laughs> How does it smell in there? Um, I've n seen few places dirtier than dream hack uh, on the last day after everybody moves out, so it's actually a little stinky. On a scale of like 1 to 10, with 10 being the worst smell ever, how bad does it smell? Like pizza and BO. But it's still really fun. People, you kind of get accustomed to it, right? I mean, the the BYOC is definitely like its own kind of area and a bit separate from the tournaments and stuff. So you go in when you feel like it. They're the, the, they're the lay people. Yeah, the plebes. The not uh, the not esports people. Yeah, no, I I think a lot of them are coming around and checking out the games though, and I'm surprised how many people are showing up just for esports here. And uh, how often do you get mistaken for Swedish? Pretty regularly. They just come up and start. Do you talking learn some like, Swedish? I, I learned how to properly pronounce you're you're chirping you're chirping yeah what are you, what are you shaking your head at that's completely it's, correct it's you're chirping you're chirping yeah, the the syllable who's right Robin that's what I said uh, you're chirping no it's it's you're chirping all right I concede but it's okay you make a much better <laughs> Swede than me I'm sure you don't get mistaken for a Swede no, no. not at all I wish. Everyone's uh, very well put together here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a little intimidating. It's a little intimidating. All the girls, very good looking. All the guys, very uh, tall. All the guys in striped t-shirts, no sleeves. sleeves. Yeah. They, uh, they know how to game, though. Yeah. They're hard, pretty hardcore. It's like 90% Swedish people here. Well, yeah, it's what, South Koreans, Swedes, and then everybody else, right? Yeah, that's how, that's, that's, that's how it works. Um, what's, your, what's your favorite game now? My favorite game that I play? Um, I don't know, I play League and StarCraft still, and I've been playing World of Warcraft, which I'm a little bit ashamed of. You went but back? I, you got sucked back in? It's, oh, all right. You played it's, World of Warcraft before, right? Yeah, okay. it was bad. But and now you're, you're back into it? Jesus. Well, it's weird. I got one of those 25 years of World of Warcraft subscriptions, so it's actually it's less pressure when you're not paying $15 every month. You know what they month? need? They need the same thing for, uh, as, as nicotine. They have to wean you off of it. They could call it a World of Warcraft patch. I don't know, how would that work though? Like I, I can play like really shitty on my phone and then like it's frustrating and I always lose and I... It like limits the number of hours you play each uh, each time. Well, what and I do you is... you play less and less until you you're, you don't have to play it anymore. I have a horrible little pet from Diablo called a fetish shaman and it's disgusting and I hate it so I keep it out. A and fetish it, I, shaman? I, I don't, it's like the special pet from Diablo. That sounds players. really uh, sexual. He's to totally not. You should Google him. It's really gross. But he makes me not want to play so much, so I keep him out. Uh, this is your, since it's your third DreamHack, what have you learned thus far about Europe and DreamHack and everything in general? Well, it took me three visits here to kind of figure out the layout of this convention hall. I spent about four hours total lost last year. Uh-huh. But, uh, eh, you know, it's it's just uh, kind of learning to get by. There's nothing specific, no lesson. Okay. Um, you've been with Trevor for eight years now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Trevor and I. A long time. You guys are old, <laughs> old women, old men in esports. It's definitely uh, it's a relationship that has a lot to do with esports. But uh, you guys would never see each other. How did you even make that work? You know, I think we saw enough of each other that it was kind of okay to spend the time apart that we do. So uh -huh. uh, yeah. You guys gonna have? You guys gonna stream your wedding? Eventual wedding? I don't want to jinx it, but uh, yeah. Is yeah, gonna happen? when we can finally find some time to not be half a world apart all the time, you know, that's definitely down the line. But, uh, yeah. Would I be invited? Would you want to cover it? Uh, would I Would I be invited, though? Yeah, you can totally come. Can you bring sponsors, though? I'm trying to get, like, a sponsor, event feel, reception. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I would, you know, uh, just, just come, look nice, have some drinks. Don't worry about it. I, it's, uh, I, I do very well at weddings. I feel the air of desperation among the women really just allows me the opportunity to hit on them better. Do you think that's the case? So you're going to hook up with one of my single friends? You are uninvited from the wedding. Why not? I'm a perfectly <laughs> upstanding gentleman. I'm a nice guy. Yeah, but I have this nice little enclave in my life that has nothing to do with esports, and you would come in and you would turn them all into fangirls. Well, they, I think that unleashing me on people that haven't done anything in esports would be kind of a 
an interesting. I'll have a little camera and I'll follow, I'll go around interviewing people. That'd be fun. I want that that kind of perspective. Okay. I was thinking of setting up DJ Wheat and Rivington off on like far enough away from my grandmother that they wouldn't offend, and they can shoutcast everything that's going on to a live stream. So. Okay. All right. How many nice. viewers do you think you would get you and Trevor's wedding? It's Twenty, thirty. We're really high like thirty thousand, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. More more viewers than uh some ma- some WCS events maybe. <laughs> You well, are. it works for Blizzard, so technically it might be a WCS event. Would you guys have a really traditional one, or would it be like all new age, where you dance around in like new songs and stuff, or would it be like just the old? I have I have parents that I can't disappoint, so I. I what do they think about you doing nice. esports? They they love it. My mom thinks like she she always says, um, you know, I feel like I'm the parents of rock stars, like rock, you know. People didn't understand when, when people were getting into rock music and making rock bands in the garage, and I feel she feels the same way about you know how we approach video games. So that's cool. And you can impress her with like your Twitter followers and stuff. Is she, she like she used to give me a hundred dollars for every thousand, and she had to stop. Wow, that's a lot of money. She yeah. would give you money for for the amount of followers. She understands. That's a parent that understands marketing. <laughs> she incentivized. And are are your your parents are Italian? Yeah. Yeah. How uh, <laughs> how uh, typical Italian are they? Oh, uh, we eat a lot. We got a big family. Uh, nobody's Catholic anymore. That's great. But other than that, like yeah, it's they watch pretty the Sopranos. Time. They watched all the Sopranos. Yep. And uh, they live in Jersey. We do live in Jersey. Anything else? We got a we got a house in Seaside down the Jersey Shore. Of uh, course, of course. I don't know how to get more Italian. Uh, we you know pasta, meatballs. My grandmother comes around. They used to work hey, at a restaurant. Hey, hey yo, yo, what? Hey, exactly. That is how it works. But you can pass for Swedish. That's good. Your parents yeah. look Swedish too. No, not at all. They look totally Italian, German, that kind of thing. Well. I, I wouldn't mind living here. I think it's kind of nice. You like it? You like you like you're in Shipping or you like uh, Stockholm better? I've never been to Stockholm. Really? Yeah. I was in Copenhagen earlier. Exactly the same. Everything everything costs a lot though. Don't let the the Swedes hear you say that they hate the Dutch. Really? Yeah. You mean the Danish? Danish, sorry, not the Dutch. Nobody hates the Dutch. But everyone loves the Dutch. Yeah, right. That's silly. Uh, <laughs> why? Is there a rivalry? Apparently, the way Robert tells it, it's kind of like. They have like a really funny accent, and I don't. I think it's so similar that yeah, they. Yeah, I think have Bumblebee's to... accent's awful. It's like really Bumblebee? weird. Yeah, the Liquid Manager. He's oh, from. Yeah. He's from Denmark. I was thinking of the fighting he's game. He's just a player. weirdo. <laughs> yeah, and I, I feel I like the Swedish people better too. I like Norwegians actually. They're my favorite. Like Snoot. Yeah, you know they have trolls in Norway. Uh. Yes. You should watch. I watched this really good documentary before I came up. Troll Hunter. Like yeah. real trolls. Yeah, man. I, I I think that's my kind of movie, Troll Hunter. You should definitely check, check it, out. it out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any anything else you want to say? Any any kind of uh... no? Any burning questions? I'm pretty straightforward. Same, Rachel. Okay. What? Uh, give me give me something that you haven't said in an interview before. So I did E3 this last week, right uh-huh. before I came okay. here. Okay. And what a disaster for Microsoft. So awkward for them, really bad. But you know, the only saving thing for Microsoft is that they paired up with Twitch. So. Are you gonna Are you gonna buy another Xbox? No, I'm not gonna buy an Xbox. I might have to finally go back to PlayStation. I've been trashing PlayStation for years, especially with PlayStation Three, and I just I'm gonna have to eat probably like seven years worth of words and go buy a PS4. Microsoft done fucked up. Yep. It's bad. I ain't putting that that camera in my okay, house. Okay, go ahead. What uh, what did what what? what oh, that was it. That I'm gonna have to buy a oh a PlayStation Four. Okay. That was it. And uh, what what <laughs> game are confession. you looking forward most on on that system? Uh, the Division. The Division looks cool. I think it's uh. I don't even remember. I don't even think of games. I just know it's a good thing to have in my house. Destiny. I'm just so Destiny. Eh. Thief. Thief looks sick. Uh, some open world driving games, which are silly, but I like them. Survival horror, daylight. That you play driving games? Honestly, I really like the zen of driving games. Is that that might be my weird confession that I've never admitted to? I wish they came out with a nice pod race, pod racer, like uh, like from, because that was my favorite part of the Star Wars games. Have you ever played Blur? No, what's that? All right, Blur is a racing game, but you pick up power ups, and you can like shoot people and like knock people off the road and you're still racing okay. like need okay. for speed I'll look cars for that. I'll, it's I'll, worth I'll, it. I'll go try that one out okay thanks for the interview hey, any thanks, shout outs man. you want to give 
Ah, uh, shout out to CSN, shout out to Violet who's kicking some serious ass in DreamHack. I hope I'm not jinxing him in the middle of the tournament by saying that. And uh, shout out to my family because they're really awesome and they make it possible for me to do esports. Okay, all right, thank you. Thanks for the interview.